Hey, what is up guys? This is Carter, and today I'm showing you my brand new online app studio. So, uh, let's, uh, click start, um, and show this off. Oh yeah, before I do that, um, I'm just gonna show you this is a window, draggable. Uh, let's click iOS for a platform, um, title or app. We're gonna call it, uh, Borat app. Because I'm gonna make a button that will say it is NAS, uh, like Borat did in his films and Ali G show. Um, so now I can choose a file there, and I'll just choose, uh, let's see if we have any, uh, discography images from Skrillex. Uh, no, no pictures there. So we'll just choose, um, a picture of an index card. Let's go with that. Yep, there we go. And as you can see, we have a little preview there. Click next again. And, uh, yeah, draggable, resizable. Let's click next. And next again, and it should open up our code editor. And there we go, there's the code editor. And uh, let's make a button there, and we'll call it uh, Borat. Yeah. Oh, first showing you it's resizable, but yeah. We'll call that button Borat there. And um, our message that we'll print to the iPhone is, uh, it is nice. And, um, you yeah, know, so, uh, all we need to do now is build that app. And by the way, uh, what this app studio is capable of is essentially, um, uh, creating iPhone and Android apps from your web browser, uh, without the need to install anything or buy any software. So now we're just going to click build and it'll start building the app. Um, you got to give the progress bar a few seconds to start up because it's doing some pre-build operations, but there we go. There it starts it. And as you can see, it downloaded it right there. Click on it, imports directly into iTunes as Borat app. We can see it there. And now we're just going to uh, sync it up. And after this syncs, I'm just going to switch over. There's going to be a quick jump cut, and we're going to jump to the uh, VNC client, and I'll show you uh, the app in action. So let's do it. All right, so as you can see here is my iPhone, and um, I'm just going to click on the app there. And here we go. It says hello world and then there's the button and when we click it it says it is nice it is nice and the more times we click it the more times it print because I appended it to the body's inner HTML so let's see here just gonna exit out once again show you that there's no bugs glitches um, yep this is on my iPhone and uh, if we click back into it and click board again it'll print it and click back out just once again to show you that this is, you know, completely exactly the same as what we programmed it to do. And, um, yep, we're just going to exit out of that app. And we'll restart it back up. And relaunch it. And there you have it, relaunched. When we click it, it appends it. So, uh, there you go, guys. Um, hopefully you enjoy this app studio. And, um... Uh, I will be releasing it quite soon, and it will have both iPhone and Android support. However, there the, there is going to be a drag-and-drop feature, like sort of a Visual Studio-style uh, app creation environment, and uh, that is um, coming on a date to be announced. Um, but yeah, enjoy!